And like I said, they'll sit down and eat with you. They talk shit like that about you because they see you when they drive by, but then they eat with you at IHOP and say that's a, one of the coolest people you met. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know that you're talking, and then, then the same sentence, yeah, man, you ever heard about them dudes preaching on the corner? Yeah, man, them nigga be on that wet. Hey, that the dude you were chilling with yesterday, that was one of them. Like, you just say random shit just because, you know why? Because your spirit don't like what the Most High has to say, man. And that's our own people, man. So that's why we don't give a fuck about the two-thirds, man. They don't, care, they don't care about us. They don't care about the Most High, ultimately. Okay? And the Most High said that he that is not with me is against me. Okay? And you don't want to be against the ultimate power, the the uh, the one that controls everything, man. The I am that I am, right? Go ahead. Uh, you got the rest of that. That's it. Yeah, that was it for that. All right. Let's get back to the edges. Let's start at the top. Of it. Second edges nine and one. He answered me then and said. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah. Just, y'all might say, oh, there's always been uproars, there's always been wars, there's always been earthquakes. They have earthquakes such and such times a year and all this and that, man. Look, man, Noah's been prophesying about the flood for hundreds of years, man. Okay? So, therefore, we've been prophesying about the downfall of America for some years. Whether you don't believe it or see it, or you're trying to make some type of scientific excuse on why the Lord not coming back, that's, that's your bad, man. The most I say, for what if some did not believe... Do their unbelief make the faith for the Most High without effect? I tell you, nay, right? So it don't matter what you think toward the scriptures. If you don't think the Lord's coming back or not, it's about what the Lord's going to do. Okay? We ain't in control of nothing. It don't matter. With all my mind, if I want the Lord to come tonight, he's going to come when he, he wants to come or he seems fit. Okay? Like you niggas always, then you'll turn around and make a quote famous like, he may not come when you want him to, but he's always on time. All right? We want the Lord to come. You might not want him to come, you two-third coon. You know, you want 10, 15, 20 years of when your child grow up and graduate and get, get married. You want to see all that. But the Lord going to come on time. He's going to put a foot up in your ass if you ain't doing the right thing in that time, man. That's why he said in Peter's, uh, so for what conduct should, should um, conversation should you have, man? Knowing that the uh, elements shall be melted away. Okay? The Lord ain't saying this for nothing, man. He ain't saying this for his good health. That's an admonishment to us in this society, man. Okay? Go ahead. Then shalt thou... Um, so like, uh, for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, it's going to be clear as day. All right, right now it's not clear as day, it's a little blurry. You're, you're looking through a, a, a foggy glass, all right? But it's gonna come a time you're gonna know clear as day. Like we talk about the RFID chip in the mark of the beast. A lot of y'all see that, oh man, they, they conspiracy theorists and this and that. But it will come a time when you will be forced to possibly to get chipped, okay? Well, you got that prison, them prisoners that broke out in New York. That's an excuse to chip people, man. Okay? Or you got uh, uh, people that are in a crazy house or, or incarcerated. Okay? Or people with, with guns. Okay? This society is going toward a uh, one world government and they're trying to shut everything down and control you. And it will happen. And then the Lord will interfere and interject and shut it down. Okay? Right when the sandwich is in his mouth, man. Okay? If I can speak on it. Uh, like the brother said, when they broke out the prisoners broke out and they were running around in New York, they were going door to door. So that's that's uh, basically them giving a license for when martial law comes, they just kick in your door. Yep, and it's Jade Helm also, in the process of working, uh, uh, conducting Jade Helm, which is nothing but martial law on American soil. 
You know what? Why are you preparing for that? Why you why you haven't been preparing for something like that? Right? Why all of a sudden you preparing for it now? Okay? Why are you preparing to be attacked? We never America's never been prepared, preparing themselves to be attacked. Alright? They send their agents out and spies and things like that. And and, and and the CIA agents and shut it down before they get the intel before it even comes here. Okay? But all of a sudden you preparing for attack on the American soil. You know, they ain't nothing but martial law, man. They've been on top of it for five, uh, hundreds of years or 500 years, but all of a sudden they're not able to do it now, man. Okay? Because America has a goal, they have an agenda. All right? And all these laws, all these uh, things that they're broadcasting on TV, like Jake getting shot, our people getting shot. Look, man, our people been getting shot by the police, man. Okay? Our people been getting shot since I was young, man. The only difference now is you got social media and you got uh, the, 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 you got Fox News, you got CNN, okay? Anybody that, that see Fox, Fox News as the actual news, you're, you're, you're the, the lowest spectrum on, lowest species on planet Earth to, blink, to, to think Fox News is actual news, man, okay? You, you, you are automatic racist if you watch Fox News and believe that's the news. You automatic. You don't care what color you are, man. All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginning and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Yeah, the, the coming of the Lord. That's going to be with powerful effects and signs. The Most High, the Most High Son, Yahweh Shai, is going to come in spectacular fashion with chariots from the world called UFOs, okay? He's going to come in the, the big old chariots, all right, shooting laser beams. A lot of people, oh, oh, you're talking crazy, you sound, you believe in UFOs, but you, it is. You niggas believe that a, a man can be a woman when he clearly has a rod on him, you know, that he's born like that. You believe in that dumbass shit, okay? But you don't believe that a chariot will come, you know? Or like, like, polite. He don't believe in the uh, uh, um, Jonah and the whale or the big fish, but you believe you went to the planet risk, right? <laughs> you know? That that don't that that don't equate. Your argument against us is you don't believe a fish ate a whole nigga, but how can a nigga a whole nigga get picked up? And come back and go out of space and all this scientific facts. You went to you went to a different planet. How can you breathe on that planet? How did you make it to that planet when you had to go cross into the outer out atmosphere? How can you breathe? Bring me, show me the scientific facts to prove that you can breathe out of space, right? So, so all of a sudden we got to use our imagination with that one, not now, but when it comes to Jonah in the well, that's impossible, man. But when you go into the scriptures, it tell you that it's a big fish. And, and everybody know about uh, the megalodon, you know, that supersized shark, where a shark tooth could fit in the palm of my hand, and the megalodon tooth looks like I'm holding a dinner plate, man. So that's that's over double the size. That's over quadruple the size, man. And everyone that shall be saved, that shall be able to escape by his works. And by faith, whereby ye have believed. Yeah. And everyone that shall be saved. That shall be saved. So everybody's looking for salvation from the Lord. Is that correct? You believe in the Bible? You want the Lord to come back and save you? Everybody that shall be saved. Go ahead. And shall be able to escape by his works. Shall be able to escape by his works. Okay, it ain't it ain't all about faith, all right. But it, and and it, and it ain't all about works. It says that believe, okay. So you shall be escaped by your works. What is your works? Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to your best abilities. Keeping in faith to your best abilities. Because your faith, your faith don't have to be on 110 either, man. Uh, who was who was Yahweh Shai's uh, favorite apostle, man? It was Peter, correct? But did, did not he lose faith at a point, man? 
when 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 they questioned him if he was uh, a disciple of Yahweh Shai, okay, or did he? Uh, no, Yahweh, the Most High's favorite. The Most oh, High's okay, favorite. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, the Most High favorite was uh, Peter, the head apostle. Okay. So the most, so he did that, and then guess what? When when he went to uh, Cornelius. The, uh, the man of Italian band who was an Israelite, right? He went to him and, and woke him up, dealt with the first Gentile, and he he really was a a, a a prophet for the sect of the Israelites, the Jews, so to speak. But Paul was apostle for the Gentiles. But they got a, there came a time where the the uh, the the, uh, the the normal Jews, the Pharisees and the uh, Sadducees, started trying to check Peter, and Peter denied dealing with Gentiles. So that was the time that he lost faith also. But the no, most high knows the spirit. He knew he knew Peter was a a, a man a man after his uh, own heart also, man. Okay? Okay, Peter had that discernment, Peter had that passion for the most high, but sometimes you do uh drop your faith do drop down at a point, man. Okay? But Peter ain't never stopped. All right? He got caught up and he got he got it back on his horse and he and he like Bush said, you get on that horse, you better ride it, man. You fall off, you got to get back on the horse, okay? Because it's a long walk home. You can't just walk home and say, I can't fuck with that horse no more, man. You got to get on that horse and ride it back home, okay? And shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Yeah, whereby ye have believed. We have escaped by our works and our faith. Okay, you can't escape with just one. You gotta have both. We gotta have faith and we gotta have works, or we ain't gonna be able to escape, man. You gotta be out here doing the work. You gotta be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, even when it's toward the so-called white man. Okay, just like I always said, that the Constitution is is a is, is almost like a, a protection for us, for us also, even though so the white even though the so-called white man made it for himself. It's the same thing with the uh, the law toward the so-called white man. The law of the Bible. Like thou shalt not steal. We can't take from the so-called white man because we want to. Even though he's stealing from us, we can't do that. Okay? Because that's the law. It's protecting him. He's going to be wicked. He don't have he don't have no rules, man. Like, uh, what's that What's that movie with uh, with uh, Ted, Ted Cruz? It was like, I have no strings on me. You know? Oh, gamer. Gamer, yeah. They had they had certain rules they had to follow, but he didn't have no rules. And he was like, I have no strings. The so-called white man don't have no strings in this society. We got strings because there's laws, that's the commandments we have to keep. They want to have a good time, they go eat anything. Okay? They eat another man's ass if they want to and consider that a good time. Okay? That's not a good time for us. Okay? That's a, that's a wicked time because we got... We got uh, rules that we live in okay we live in a box okay the box of the bible okay are you trying to be a uh, philanthropist and get on this knowledge bowl and learn everything you don't get nowhere with that you gotta have a direction man this, this ain't ufc man okay or, or it really is the ufc because you got different gifts but you niggas trying to you niggas trying to Going to the UFC ring and trying to counsel your way into and went around and went around by counsel and then went around by cooking who cooking the best spaghetti, you know, and shit like that. It don't work like that, man. You know? You gotta have a ground rule, man, a ground base. Okay? You can't put Kimbo in the UFC. You know? uh, Deuteronomy chapter four. Verse 7, for what nation is there so great who hath the most high so nigh unto them as the most higher power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Yeah, yeah, and that's Israel. There's a, no, no nation greater than Israel, man. And our, that's a problem. That's what problem we got with our people because the most high is still... All this honor upon us, he look at, he looks so highly of us, and you niggas 
want to put the so-called white man over you. If the white man can't make it, I don't want to go. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You know? But but here it is. The, the, it's crazy because in this society, you, you are, you'll kill your kids for food stamps, man. You'll, you'll deny your kids for food, deny your kids for child support, destroy your family for getting you. But you'll you're, you're rather die than to get salvation if the so-called white man can't make it, man. Then look at us like we preach self-hate. No, we, we preaching truth, man. Niggas that get out and get some type of so-called white man's education act like we're preaching self-hate, man. No, you hate yourself because we're, we're embellishing our culture, man. We, we love who we are as a people, okay? We ain't pushing our women to get no perms and weaves and shit like that, man. Okay? We ain't into all that, man. Okay? But when we out here telling the truth about our, our people from our women to the men, we preach yourself, hey, all y'all out here got your pants sagging, you're, you're gang banging, you're being coons on the times, and y'all consider that self-hate. No, that's true. Our people are doing that out here, man. Okay? And we're telling them to get right. Even our women. Okay? Go ahead. Second Nazareth 9 and 7. And everyone... I'm going to read this because it goes too much. Right. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation. Yeah, what are those said perils? Okay, this is one of them. Thermonuclear, thermonuclear missiles. Uh, the RFID chip. Okay? Martial law. The time of Jacob's trouble. Famine, man. Okay? The, 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 scripture, the scripture says, I'd rather die by the sword than to die by famine, man. Somebody rather get shot in the chest with a 12 gauge than to die by starvation. Cause that's a slow and painful death, man. That's torture, man. Okay, go ahead. They shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified, <coughs> so like, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. The Most High sanctified us for Him from the beginning. So that's a, that's like you better hope that you're the elect. But. One thing about the elect, it's not like the elect is gonna gonna be acting like a nigga his whole life and get saved. It don't work like that. The elect is gonna be doing the work. He's gonna be uh, keeping faith and having works. That's a you know. It says those that shall escape by their faith and their works, right? And then it says that the elect were were ordained before the uh, before the earth. So you can't sit there and say, well, anybody could be the elect. That is true. But one thing you gotta identify with the elect is they're gonna be having faith and they're gonna keep the they're gonna, they're gonna be doing the work, man. Not only they're gonna be out here, but they're gonna keep the law, statutes, and commandments also, man. You know, that's how you identify the elect. I don't know if I'm gonna remain in a position of the elect, but I know this is what the elect do. Okay? The elect are out here doing the work, man. Okay? The elect are believing. Okay, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to their best ability and all sincerity. Okay? That's what the elect are doing. The difference is they have that, that light bulb moment when it goes off in their head and they're like, oh, this is what we're supposed to be doing. And then they start doing the right things, you know what I'm saying, from here until salvation. Yep. Yeah. Or that light bulb can go off, you know? That light bulb can go off and they can end up like the kind. Or, or like Sarge, you know? Or like Sarge, you know, and, and uh, that light bulb would go off, they could end up like Sarge and he's tripping off that Henny, tripping off the vodka, <laughs> you know? You go from you go from having tremendous breakdowns to doing rap videos, man. Or well, I'm a Shabiala, an element. You go from, from having tremendous breakdowns to defending yourself, <laughs> threatening people by coming, in, in, um, coming to your house and threatening you and your woman. Okay? But fuck you and fuck her, man. You done lost yourself, man. You know? I had I had a high respect for that brother, but you talking about you and your family, man. You're, you the Bible says you're supposed to make your body living sacrifice. There's no way you're supposed to know all them scriptures and say something foolish like that. Okay? You can tell you ain't right. 
right? Go ahead. Then should they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Yeah, because that, that's what our people do. Just because you go to church on Sunday, don't make you right on Monday. You know what I'm saying? So if you out here being a, 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 a whore monger or a whore, and you get cleaned up, you know what I'm saying? Give me that on the Surat, where the man washes his, wash his body, washes himself at the touch of the dead body. You know what I said? Yeah, I knew it was at that top corner. Uh, Sirach chapter 34, verse 25. He that washes himself after touching a dead body, if he touch it again, well availeth is his washing. That's right. That, that dead body is that sin, man. Okay, so basically once you repent and then you do it again, what's the point? All right? So all that, all that grace and you go to church on Sunday and this and that, and then you turn around and and have some type of revelation and you go back you know what i'm saying unless, unless like you, you fall seven times you get up seven but if you got that sincerity of believing that you're you can keep on sinning and and you in good graces with the most high you got that totally mixed up that is not true there's no way you can sin and be in the good graces of the most high okay sin makes you filthy man and calling on the name of the lord you can't even go in the name of the lord unless uh, unless your spirit is right man okay Go ahead. So is it with the man that fasteth for his sins and goeth again and doeth the same, who will hear his prayer? Yes, so who will hear his prayer? So if you fast for your sins and then go and do another sin, ain't nobody going to hear your prayer the next time, man. It's pointless. You got to actually clean yourself up, man. That's like washing your car to go and, and, and do donuts in the mud, man. What's the point of washing it? Just go.